10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering Bulgaria Sat 1 to a geostationary transfer orbit. All nine Merlin engines capable of putting out over 1.7 million pounds of thrust. We are coming up on max Q at one minute and 18 seconds roughly. We'll be passing through max Q that is maximum aerodynamic pressure. Just cross through it. That is one of the highest stressed states on the rocket. So we're over 20 kilometers above the surface of Earth. You can see the engine plume expand at the base of the rocket. That is indicative that we are leaving Earth's atmosphere. That chill has begun. You just heard the call out that the Merlin vacuum engine on second stage has begun chilling in. This means that we are getting ready for three major events main engine cutoff, Miko 1, stage separation, and second engine start. We'll talk about all three of them after they occur. What you just saw there in quick succession was Miko main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, which was done by four pneumatic actuators on the forward end of our first stage. And then on the right side of your screen, you are seeing the glowing red nozzle of our second stage engine. That glowing red nozzle on the second stage is how you can see that we have uh, a good ignition in space. We will have fairing separation in about 15 seconds. Just happened right now. It's like a good separation of the fairing. That was a brief glimpse of Bulgaria sat within the fairing of our second stage. This means we have left Earth's atmosphere, majority of Earth's atmosphere. On the left side of your screen, you are seeing an image from the top of our four of our first stage. You see two grid fins uh, in the sides of that image. We use those grid fins to guide the stage through the atmosphere to the drone ship. Now those grid fins do look small, but they are about five feet long, about four feet wide. Um, so they're rather large as we, we use them to guide ourselves back. 
You are also seeing occasional puffs uh, come out from the side of the stage. Those are cold nitrogen thrusters that we use to help orient the stage. Now coming up in about a minute, we have our entry burn of the first stage. This is a three engine entry burn. Uh, for today's mission, since we are landing on the drone ship, we do not have a boost back burn. We only have an entry burn and a landing burn. Two burns total for today's mission for the first stage. As I mentioned previously, our entry coming in for first stage is one of the highest heating and structural loads. Uh, so this is a very challenging first stage maneuver to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Of course, I still love you has AOS. You just heard confirmation that our drone ship has acquisition of signal, AOS, of the first stage as it's coming back. First stage, stage one, entry burn is starting. This is ignition of the entry burn. This burn will last for about 20 seconds. Three engine entry burn on the first stage on the left. Stage one entry burn shut down. We have a good shutdown, confirmation of a good shutdown of the first stage entry burn. Now it is normal for us to see some of the uh, soot appear on the camera screen. We may also lose, uh, occasionally lose coverage of the first stage entry as we come in through the horizon. Uh, that is all perfectly normal. This is expected to lose the signal from stage one. We will have uh, signal acquisition as we come closer to the drone ship. Meanwhile, you're seeing on our second stage, the engine burning. Our second, this burn will last stage about eight chance, minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, and then we will have a coast phase for the second stage uh, before we do our final burn to put Bulgaria Sat into a geostationary transfer orbit. Second stage, AMTS has saved. <clears throat> We're coming up in about 30 seconds on our landing burn from the first stage. About 45 more seconds for this uh, stage two burn. Landing burn has started. The confirmation of the landing burn has started. Landing legs have deployed. And it looks like we may have lost some of the footage coming in for the landing ship, uh, uh, for the, coming in for the drone ship. Uh, we do expect to lose signal from the drone ship as we come in. If you've watched previous uh, missions, uh, that is not uncommon for us to lose coverage of the first stage coming back to the drone ships, uh, the rocket vibrations. Uh, coming into Is something like that can cause some issues. And it looks like we did have a good recovery of the first stage. Um, video feed did come back. That is touchdown for first stage on the drone ship. This was a three engine landing burn. Most challenging landing to date. Successfully touched back down on, of course, I still love you. Meanwhile, we have a good orbit for second stage. We are in a good parking orbit for second stage.
We will be in coast phase till about the T plus 27 minute mark. So we're going to leave you right now uh, with that image of our animation of second stage orbiting around Earth. We are going to come up on uh, our second burn for the second stage in about uh, 19 minutes or so. Uh, and we'll be back shortly to bring you uh, final coverage of second stage uh, engine relight as well as separation of Bulgaria sat. Uh, we did have a successful landing of the first stage on the drone ship. Uh, so secondary objective complete. We are still very focused on the primary objective. Just over 26 minutes into today's mission, and we are coming up on our second burn of our second stage engine as we get ready to put uh, Bulgaria Sat 1 into a geostationary transfer orbit. Uh, we're intermixing between showing you a live image of the aft end of our second stage looking at our Merlin vacuum engine. And we're also showing you uh, an animation of where stage 2 is uh, over Earth. This burn will start in about 10 seconds. And we have ignition of the second stage engine. This is a one minute burn of our second stage engine. Everything looking nominal on the Merlin vacuum. We are throttling right now to adjust the acceleration of the satellite. Again, this burn is going to put Bulgaria Sat into a geostationary transfer orbit. A shutdown in about 10 seconds. We have shut down. And it looks like a good orbit for our second burn of our second stage engine. Uh, right now you are seeing the glowing red nozzle of the Merlin vacuum engine cooling down uh, as it radiates out to space. Just over 34 minutes into today's mission. Uh, right now, our second stage with Bulgaria sat on top is in a super synchronous orbit. It had two nominal burns, picture perfect. Uh, and we are just awaiting payload separation. Uh, payload separation should occur in about 10 seconds. few moments you will see Bulgaria sat separating from the second stage that is Bulgaria sat uh, in your screen right now what you see and we have payload separation it's like a nominal payload separation right now Bulgaria sat will begin a number of health checks deploy its solar arrays uh, and then begin its own orbital maneuvering to put itself into a final uh, geostationary orbit over the Bulgarian Bulgaria sat uh, over the Bulgarian orbital position. Sorry. And so with that, uh, we have had a successful landing of the first stage uh, on the drone ship. That was one of our highest entry heating uh, as well as structural loads and a three engine landing burn. Uh, so that was very challenging. We also had a successful uh, launch and deployment of Bulgaria sat uh, to a geostationary transfer orbit. So that is going to conclude our webcast today.
We would like to thank Bulgaria Sat, uh, the range for supporting us, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, as well as Kennedy Space Center. We'd also like to thank the FAA for supporting us and you, uh, the viewer, for tuning in. Uh, today marks the second reflight uh, of an orbital rocker, of an orbital class rocket, uh, as well as the first time, uh, we do love our firsts around here, uh, the first time a rocket has landed on both our east and west coast drone ships. We do have another launch coming up on Sunday afternoon, uh, so please come back and check us out, spacex.com slash webcast. We're providing you coverage of our Iridium 2, 2 mission and as well as our social media channels. So stay with us on Twitter, uh, Instagram, as well as Facebook, and we'll provide updates for you there. If you would like to uh, join us up here and join the crew to make all this happen, make sure you also check out spacex.com careers. Thank you again for tuning in, and we will see you all on Sunday.